Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. All that jazz, everything, everything. Guys, I have a bucket list, right? And on my bucket list, it's um, places that I want to go, places that I want to travel to, right? And one of the places that was on my list was Dubai, and we was going to try to go to Dubai like next year, right? Well, <laughs> research has it because you always check where you're going to go. And Dubai just has like too many rules. It's just too many rules. Like let's say, say you and your person, it could be you and your girl, you and your man, you and your woman. Say you're coming out of your hotel room and say y'all had a little spat in the hotel room, but now you're headed outside. And I'm just speaking for a woman. And let's say your guy is like, well, Debbie, I don't want to talk about it no more. You know, whatever. And you're like, well, fuck that. I still want to talk about it. Out loud. You can get one year in prison. <laughs> you can get one year in prison. Also, there was a lady, and I just saw this like two seconds ago before I started doing this video. Some lady, I think she was in the airport or something. It's a black lady from New York City. And I think she touched the security on the arm. I don't know what she was doing. I don't know why she touched them. But I just think she just touched him. Maybe she was about to fall. I don't know. But she touched this person. One year in prison. So guess what, guys? I'm not taking my black ass <laughs> to Dubai. It is no longer on the list. Right? What is on the list is I do want to go to Africa. I do. I want to go to Africa. I don't know which one, what part, or whatever. But I do want to go to Africa. So now... That's on the list, and it's on top of Dubai. Dubai is off the list, completely off the list, right? I think if it's not the regular ones that we all go to, like Mexico, Biz, Jamaica, Aruba, you know, the ones we know, I I'm not going over there. I'm not going over there. There's nothing in Dubai that I want to see. Yes, it's fancy, and it's light, shiny, light. It's like Dubai is like... 10,000 times Hollywood, right? It's, it's ridiculous. So, no. I can look at it online. I never have that much money anyway, but it was just a place that I want to go to. It was just on the list, you know, because there's things in life that you just want to do. Well, I don't want to do that no more. And I'm fine with it. Next. Next. I think the only other place that I want to go to outside of this, outside of our normal normal travels, is Africa. That's it. That's it. I want to go to Africa and bring my black ass back home. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I don't need to go nowhere else. I don't want to know about nothing else. Mm -mm. It's too scary for me. I used to want to go to Egypt, but I think it's still okay, but I don't know. I just think that's too far. I don't want to go to India. I don't want to go... Do I want to go to London? Maybe. But that's like architectural. That would be for pictures and stuff like that. I really don't know what's in London that I would, would want to see. Other than, you know, it's London. Oh, you've been to London? I've been to London. I've been to Paris. I've been to London. But I don't know. Whatever, guys. I'm just going to stick it to our stick to our local islands <laughs> that you can get to in a three to five hour trip. I don't need to do no 17, 800, 11, 13 hour flight. No, just to go to jail. And knowing me, I would go to jail. <laughs> For one, I'm very playful. I'm happy. I'm upbeat. Curse words will come out my mouth. You can't even curse. You can't even curse in Dubai. But see me, I'm so silly. I'll be sitting there and I'll say something silly like, F this something, something. I'll try to whisper it. Next thing you know, they got me. I can't. I cannot go to Dubai. It's off the list. I'd rather go ride an elephant in Africa somewhere and, and go out that way, right? At least at least I'm going out with my own. Uh, Holy Spirit. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Look, look at this. <laughs> look what came out. This is for somebody. Y'all must be thinking about traveling. Because the card that came out, it says, I love when we travel together. Let's get married. Let's get married, baby. Let's get married. 
I've done it all. It must have been meant for me to mention that. Y'all saw me shuffle this. So you and your person, y'all probably travel a lot. They love when they travel with you, whether it's in the States or out of the States, whatever. I think they want to marry you. They said, let's get married. They said, I have so many surprises for you. We need to make up for lost time. Ooh, child. So this is for the people who's traveling with somebody. This could be your friend that you're traveling with. It could be, like, say it's your boy or your girl, somebody that you just hang out with and you don't know that they're falling in love. Maybe you're falling in love too, right? They have so many surprises for you. Do I want to do karmic tales? No. I'm not going to do karmic tales on this. That is just flip everything. <laughs> it's just let's go with this energy here, guys. They love when y'all travel together and they say, let's get married. Look at that. Page of Cups. And they're releasing some devilish energies, re releasing some karmic energies or some addictions or anything like that. They need to make up for lost time. They want to travel with you. Holy Spirit. Or you do travel together. I love when we travel together. Let's get married. Holy Spirit. What's going on here? It's a magician. The magic is alive, guys. Let's get married. Somebody's manifesting you. But they could be ending something with someone else with this Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, something didn't work. Something didn't work. Maybe they offered you their cup and you didn't take it. But I don't know. It looks like they're into something. This person wants you back. Somebody wants you back. They definitely ended a situation. So this is somebody that you either travel with or used to travel with. But you haven't been hanging out lately. Maybe you took your love back from them because it wasn't working. Three of Pentacles in reverse. And they're realizing this now. But the fact that y'all still hang out and that y'all travel together or something. Something didn't work. But now they want to make up for lost time. This person wants you back. So it's whoever you used to travel with. Yeah, they want you back. Ten of Cups. They want... They want forever with you. They want to make up for lost time. And I guess in this time, they want to marry you. So it's somebody that you travel with. This is the King of Swords. Mm-hmm. This is a head over heart decision for them. Somebody wants you back. It's been a burden since you've been gone. Yeah, it's been a burden since you've been gone. You're the Queen of Pentacles. They want you. Somebody wants to marry you. Maybe y'all travel together, have traveled together. Holy Spirit, clarify this magician. Five of Swords. There was betrayal. So they could have betrayed you by not following their intuition. Something happened. Ace of Cups in reverse the world something ended in their life and now they want a whole new world with you this is the moon card page of swords they've been watching you i guess after they went through what they went through they've been watching you something didn't work in their past or in their life Six of Swords in Reverse Spirit. Why is this person coming back? They love you back. Yeah, they want you back. They're going to offer you a Two of Cups. This is somebody you used to travel with. And they're, they're Knight of Pentacles. They're very reliable. They're coming back. I think something happened here. But now they want to be more reliable, more trustworthy. They want to make up a long time. Y'all used to travel together. Wherever that is. Whatever that means, right? For you. Yeah, this was a missed opportunity for them. But see, they were in a connection. 
Arifin in reverse. Something ended in their life and now they want to marry you. They want to make up for lost time. But maybe in the meantime, between time, y'all just used to travel together. Maybe I used to travel together for work. They do have regrets for being in and out of your life or not telling you that they had a situation or not telling you that they were married. Maybe they were married. But they do have regrets. I guess for cheating. Holy Spirit. Five of Cups. Yeah, Four of Cups. They regret cheat, cheating on you. And then you walked away. You was over it. You pulled your energy out. And now they want you back. They want you back. Holy Spirit, clarify this King of Swords. Yeah, they're into something. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They're dropping their burdens. They're dropping their burdens with something. They know things was unbalanced in this situation here. And they were not fulfilled emotionally. Whatever they were in, they were not fulfilled emotionally. Y'all used to hang out together and travel and stuff. I don't know if y'all travel together for work or if y'all travel as friends. You know, like, you know how sometimes, like, if you're a woman, you'd be like, Michael's my best friend. We've been friends forever. Michael's my best friend. And maybe you didn't know that Michael fell in love with you. And then their relationship broke up and now Michael wants to marry you, right? Or it could be in reverse, you know. For, for a woman, for a man, it could be in reverse. Maybe y'all definitely used to travel together. I don't know if it was for work or if y'all were just really cool friends. Like, that's Derek. That's my friend, you know? Well, your friend done tripped and fell in love. Holy Spirit. <laughs> yeah, your friend done fell in love. They're not saying anything to you about it either. They're not saying anything because they know they left you out in the cold. This person is up in their head about it. Or they was left out in the cold maybe by their person. <coughs> Excuse me. Holy Spirit. Page of Swords. They've been watching you ever since something ended in their life. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody else could be watching you. Page of Wands in reverse. They don't want this person to move on if someone else is watching you. Or they just don't have a sense of direction. They don't know what to do. Holy Spirit, anything else? They said let's get married. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're over something, they're ending something, and they're moving on. So your person could be your best friend or was your best friend. Well, your best friend wants to marry you now. I just saw one, three, three, three. They have so many surprises for you, they need to make up for lost time. I love when we travel together. And I think, look at this card here. I think when y'all were traveling, y'all was traveling as friends. Just friends, you know, whatever. Like, that's my bestie. That's my best friend. Well, have you ever heard the saying where people, and men always say it. Men say, because women always say, oh, that's just my friend. That's just my friend. He don't want me. He don't, want, he don't like me like that. You say that to a man and he'd be like, no, he wants you. A man that is your best friend, if he's not um, gay or anything like that, I guess we can say the word, right? That's not a bad word. Is it YouTube? I mean, it is It is what it is. We straight, we gay, we bi, whatever, right? So whatever. So unless this man is gay, if you tell another man, oh, that's just my best friend. We've been friends forever. We've been friends since we like 10. We've been friends. Mm -mm. A man is not going to go for that. He's going to tell you in a minute, in the back of that man's mind, he wants to stick it to you. In the back of that man's mind, he got a lot of other things going on in his head. In the back of that man's mind, and then they feel that whenever the opportunity presents itself, then they'll show you who they really are and how they really feel about you. So guys, 
and I know some women would be like, oh, he's just my friend. He's just my friend. And he probably is. But in the deep darks of his mind, he want to do some things to you. Don't, 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 don't get mad at the messenger. Go ask a man. Go ask your brother, your uncle, your daddy. Ask them what I just said to you. And every man will tell you, that is not your friend. That man is waiting on his turn. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Unless he's gay. And those are the best, best friends to have anyway. If it's going to be a guy and you're a girl, they're the best ones anyway. So, I don't know. People do have hidden agendas. If you really pay attention, they be saying stuff on the sly, little, little slick stuff, right? All right, guys, I'll leave this here, but it's somebody you used to travel with. It could have been somebody that you work with. Maybe y'all travel for work. Maybe they were in a situation, but they're not in that situation anymore. And they want to make up for a uh, lost time, bestie. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.